Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today we have something absolutely awesome to discuss in the world of jailbreaking pertaining to iOS 12.1.3 and 12.1.4. Before we get into this though, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're incredibly excited for the release of the forthcoming full-fledged iOS 12 jailbreak, not just the rootless one. Now before we get into this, you're going to need to know some brief background details of what's going on currently on the jailbreak scene. If you're not fully caught up, then in your cards right now, as well as down below in the description, there will be a link to our jailbreak update playlist for iOS 12. There should only be about four links down below in the description, so just look for the one that says iOS 12 jailbreak update playlist, and you can watch those latest videos to get fully caught up and be apprised of what's going on right now on the jailbreak scene. But essentially, the next jailbreak will only support up to iOS 12.1.2, or at least so we thought, because iOS 12.1.3 patched the key vulnerabilities that are going to be exploited in the next jailbreak utility. However, when Apple dropped iOS 12.1.4 yesterday, they also included a really awesome surprise for us jailbreakers. So we're going to be talking about the security contents of iOS 12.1.4 today. So for those of you who don't know, 12.1.4 was issued yesterday to patch the group FaceTime bug that plagued iOS 12.1.3 and lower and actually caused Apple to temporarily take the service offline while they were working on a fix. But 12.1.4 also patches two other key vulnerabilities that really have me excited as well as others in the jailbreak community. So let's go ahead and scroll down here so you can see what we're talking about below the FaceTime fix. So we have another vulnerability here that affects the iPhone 5S and up, including the iPad Air and up, as well as the iPod Touch 6 generation. And for the impact, Apple has listed an application may be able to gain elevated privileges. So this in itself is pretty darn exciting, but it's not the key thing we're going to be talking about today. It could, however, allow developers to potentially escape Sandbox if it were exploited on iOS 12.1.3, which is, of course, one of the first steps in the actual jailbreak process when you do run or execute a jailbreak for a device. But like I said, this other vulnerability is what really has me excited. Again, it also affects the iPhone 5S or later, the iPad Air or later, as well as the iPod Touch 6 generation. And for impact here, this is really key, guys. It says an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Now, this is an IO kit vulnerability, and this potentially means that it could be developed into an exploit to be able to theoretically jailbreak iOS 12.1.3, even though the exploits that we previously knew that were already disclosed were patched in iOS 12.1.3. This is seemingly another one that's now patched with iOS 12.1.4. So this could be a key vulnerability that could be rolled into the primary exploit for a potential 12.1.3 jailbreak. Now, before we get too crazy with the potential of this IO kit vulnerability, just note that it's always best to stay on as low of a firmware as possible. So if you're on an earlier iteration of iOS 12, that's absolutely great. You wanna be on iOS 12.1.2 or earlier. And if by some chance you're on 12.1.3 or even the new 12.1.4, then you should definitely downgrade to iOS 12.1.1 beta 3, which is still being signed as of right now. We will have a tutorial for how to do that down below in the description, but that is time sensitive. Apple will stop signing that beta firmware shortly, and it may actually lock out potential jailbreakers from being able to jailbreak because as far as we know, the next jailbreak is only being developed for up to iOS 12.1.2, but today's news does shed some hope on the potential for an iOS 12.1.3 inclusion in that jailbreak thanks to the closure of these two vulnerabilities in iOS 12.1.4. Of course, we'll just have to wait and see, and these vulnerabilities like the past ones patched in 12.1.3 for 12.1.2 and lower were disclosed to Apple by Google's Project Zero team, primarily Ian Beer, who usually posts some awesome write-ups, which eventually lead to exploits that are rolled into jailbreak utilities by other hackers and developers. So some really awesome news. Again, just some extra hope that iOS 12.1.3 may be supported in the future. Right now, though, it is definitely recommended to downgrade to iOS 12.1.1 beta 3, but that is time sensitive, like I said, and if you happen to miss that window, 
know, or you just don't feel comfortable going to a beta release for whatever reason, then maybe 12.1.3 will be included after all. I hope you guys liked this video just letting you know exactly what's happening blow by blow on the jailbreak scene. Of course, be sure to subscribe if you have yet to. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if it helped you out. And of course, stay tuned for full coverage on everything jailbreak related. We're going to have you guys covered first on the scene. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.